Hello friends, in today's video, let's look into one of the most important aspect and backbone of UI UX that any company in the world relies on and that is design system. So in today's fast growing and evolving technology era, there are many companies who have established their own unique design system. Having the design system improves the user experience, especially for the brands that operate on a global scale. It increases the speed and efficacy among teams and most of the components. They are repeatable and reusable. So what is exactly design system? A design system is a collection of all UI resources and elements that a design company may have. This includes all the UI components like design guidelines, style guide, reusable components and philosophies, documentation, page screenshots or some templates, image examples, icons and snippets of development resources with necessary codes. So it can be accessed anytime by the required team members. Everyone who is part of the company product team such as designers, developers, engineers and managers gets together to discuss and map out everything that's currently an existing part of their digital product, assets, logos, colors, languages and codes. One of the most significant benefits of design system is that such collection of resources, elements and data minimizes the communication issues between the designers and developers and minimizes the room of potential UX design bugs. So now let's see some of the best design system examples around the world. So the first example for the design system is Google's material design. So let's see the design and the component elements of the material design. So if you go to the design tab, you would find the foundation of the Google material design. What kind of environment should we use? What kind of layout should a designer and developer should adhere to? to be consistent across the mobile applications, whosoever develops. Okay, so the navigation, what kind of navigation structure should we follow for the material design? So these are the standard guidelines set by the Google material design. And this is what every designer and developer would use. So every design or the component should be consistent across the mobile application in terms of the spacings, margins, font size. Okay. Similarly, if you go to components, so there are various components. If you see in the left navigation, so starting from buttons, app bars, top bars, right? So if you go to the buttons section, just for an example, so the design element would be the usage of a button. What kind of a buttons should, you know, so what kind of buttons you find? the principles of the buttons, the different types of button, okay? Outline button, contain button, toggle button, when to use that, what is the reason, and the anatomy of it, okay? So what this thing is called, what this icon is called, what this text is called. So everything is laid out very clear and concise, which would help you as a designer or developer to lay your foundation in a correct way. So if we also see the example, like the do's and don'ts, how should we use a button in a single line, not the label or the CTA in the double line, which would increase the button height. Just an example. Okay. Similarly, they have laid out all the principles, guidelines, anat anatomy, do's and don'ts for all the different elements. This is how you want to build your design system for your company or any product that you're working on as a designer, as a developer. So let's see another design system example of iOS. So if I click on design tab, I would see multiple devices that iOS has created a design system for it. So example, if I click on iOS, iPad, so I would see the design system pertaining to that. So what is iOS design themes? What are, that, what are their principles that we need to adhere to as a designer, as a developer? So we can just quickly see the components as we saw for the Android version or the Google material that we saw earlier. So what are the different sizes that you need to adhere to in landscape, portrait, 
This would give you a base foundation when you create your mobile app in iOS version. Okay. Similarly, there are multiple or various components that you can go to and read the guidelines what they have laid out. So by doing this, your design system, your final output would be similar and it would follow the design structure as laid by the specific companies like iOS, Google Material, right? So this is what we need to create as a design system to be consistent across your websites, mobile app when you design. Thanks for watching the video and please subscribe to my channel and press the like button and if you have any comments, please share your comments below.